Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. William Henry Elder was born on this day, March 22, in 1819, in Baltimore, Maryland. He served as the third Catholic Bishop of Natchez from 1857 until 1880. After graduating from Mount St. Mary's College in Emmitsburg, Maryland, William Elder entered the seminary and in 1842, he was sent to the Urban College in Rome, Italy for further studies. In 1846, he was ordained a priest while in Rome. Upon his return to the United States, Elder became a professor at Mount St. Mary Seminary. He held this position until being appointed Bishop of Natchez by Pope Pius IX. His diocese was the entire state of Mississippi. In 1864, during the Civil War and the Union occupation of Natchez, Bishop Elder became prominent for refusing to obey the order of Brigadier General James Tuttle to have prayers for the President of the United States recited publicly in the churches of his diocese. Bishop Elder wrote a letter to Abraham Lincoln requesting the President's assistance in protection of religious freedom. However, General Mason Brayman, who succeeded Tuttle as district commander, issued an order to imprison Bishop Elder across the river in Vidalia, Louisiana, for refusing the military order. After Washington officials intervened, Bishop Elder was soon released in August of 1864. Bishop Elder's notes of the period were later published in a Civil War diary. When he left Mississippi in 1880 to become Archbishop of Cincinnati, Ohio, his diocese consisted of 19 priests, 42 churches, 12 schools for white children, 3 schools for black children, and 2 orphanages. He died in 1904 and willed his body to be buried in the cemetery with his parishioners instead of his cathedral. Hello, I'm James Garcia, a member of St. Mary Basilica, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.